Hi, Bill Lanting, America's allergist. So what are some of the signs and symptoms that you might have asthma or your spouse or your kid, other people in your family or your friends? You know, what are things that you should be thinking, gee, you know, there, there's some breathing problems or symptoms. Could it be asthma? So there are six different things that I look for, that I ask, that you should think about that could be saying, oh, I have asthma. So the first is actually just shortness of breath where you sit there and you think about your breathing or you can't take a deep breath or you have to work to take a deep breath. That's not normal if you're just standing or sitting around. Or you feel tight or you feel constricted where you're breathing, you can't get air in or out well. So if you have shortness of breath or tightness at rest, that means that you might have asthma. You definitely have breathing problems because nobody should think about their breathing. It just happens. Just like your heart keeps beating and you don't do anything about it, you don't think about it, your breathing happens, you really never think about it unless there's a problem. Now it could be an acute problem like you're sick or all the time. Chronic, that's asthma. So the other thing that happens, limitations of exertion, meaning that there are symptoms or problems when you do activity. So what can that be? Well, if you avoid activities, because you know it causes breathing problems, whether it be that you don't bike or you don't hike or you don't do stuff because you know it'll cause breathing symptoms, that's not normal. You should be living a wonderful life with asthma, doing anything you want, anytime. Also, if you have to stop when running or doing activities, uh, that says, well, gee, you know, I'm not getting a fear. My body just said, stop, recover for a minute and, and come back or you have to slow down activities because your breathing won't let you do things. So that is something that we, we really will not accept. You shouldn't have any stopping or slowing down, no limitations of your activities. Now, this is not just a problem for adults, but think about kids. First of all, little guys, they're perpetual motion machines. They should be running around and doing things anytime they shouldn't be stopping or slowing down. And other kids, they uh, have problems when they're doing sports. And so they can't make the team because a coach sees that they have to slow down or come out for their inhaler. So they can't play organized sports because the coach says, oh, I can't have them on the basketball or soccer or football, baseball team because they're unreliable. They're either slackers or they just can't do stuff. And so these poor guys aren't allowed to participate in a lot of sports and that's not allowable. Remember, again, with asthma, no symptoms, no restrictions, no limitations. Something very important, Night or morning symptoms. Asthma is worse at night or in the morning because you secrete a chemical that helps you with your asthma. It's a steroid and steroids help inflammation. But your body doesn't put them out in a straight line. It puts them out in a sine wave so that they're high during the afternoon and lowest in the middle of the night. So night or morning symptoms like cough or shortness of breath or tightness at those times definitely say there's a problem and usually that's asthma. One other thing, wheezing. Wheezing's not normal. Some people say, oh, I only make this funny whistly sound on my chest when uh, I'm running or when I'm sick or just in the morning, but wheezing is never normal. Wheezing is a constricted airway, so instead of air going in a straight line, it goes in a roundabout, turbulent fashion and makes that funny noise. But again, wheezing is never normal. It means I'm not here, I'm here or here. Frequent rescue use, meaning albuterol, you know, the bronchodilator, the rescue inhalers that people have. You can use that whenever you're having any of these symptoms, okay? There are some people think, oh, it's rescue therapy. It means I'm dying. I, that's what I need this stuff. No, you should be using it with all symptoms to make yourself feel better. That's what it's for. But if you're needing it more than twice a week, that's when the asthma guidelines say you're not under control. There's a problem, okay? So if you have any one of these six symptoms, then you have to think about, gee, it could be asthma. I need to talk to my doctor or see a specialist and have it evaluated because asthma is called reversible airway disease, quickly or acutely. You shouldn't have to live with asthma. As you've seen in some of my other videos, not only do you not live a normal life, but it can put you in the hospital or kill you, cause scarring of your airways. And our little guys, their lungs don't grow well. So again, figure out if you have asthma. If you have any of these symptoms, you should be seeing a doctor getting it evaluated with the testing that we also talked about in other videos. So again, these six asthma symptoms, if you have them, attend to them, live a normal life. Dr. Bill Lanting, America's Allergist.